Hi guys, my name is Brooklyn, this Let's Talk Raw family. Depression in this day and age, I don't, you know, it's a little less taboo. <laughs> a certain way I'm not gonna um, make any judgments of how people think it might look I can tell you I used to think it looked like homelessness um, drug addiction you know which I had addiction so you know for me it did look like that but it, it looks like more than that um, there are so many men and women that are very successful um, very loving kind people um, in fact most of the time we all are um, I know we seem irrational at times, I can seem irrational at times and, um, and get overwhelmed easily and things of that nature, but in the long run, you know, I'm just trying to get by like the next person. And I haven't posted lately because I have been kind of walking through my own stuff. If you guys are new to my channel, you might not know I struggle with mental illness bipolar. I'm also in the recovery sober community. I am two years clean from heroin addiction. So I just want to get that out there because a uh, big part of this video is one, I hadn't checked the email that is um, goes along with this video that I always leave below if anybody wants to email, ask questions, or need somebody to talk to when it comes to anxiety, depression, addiction, motherhood, whatever. Um, <laughs> I love the movie Bad Moms because I relate, so I'm not saying that I'm an expert by any means, but um, I'm definitely someone who doesn't judge. <laughs> so I'm 11 weeks pregnant, I've been quite sick, I haven't felt well, another reason why I haven't come to say hello. But the main reason why I haven't come to say hello is because I just wasn't feeling like I was contributing much. I just felt like I got like a bunch of thumbs down on a video from my bed because I was so nauseous but I wanted to say hi to you guys. And I got a bunch of thumbs down and then like 20 views and I was like, I want to do this anymore. Like, you know, but then I had to regroup and part of that regrouping I just decided to check that email. I hadn't checked it in about two weeks. Please forgive me. I, um, I've just been really overwhelmed with my daughter's sickness. She's actually got a brain tumor. Has had two brain surgeries. She'll have her third brain surgery next Tuesday. Mind you, a month and a half ago, our life was completely normal. We thought we didn't realize this was going on until one day my daughter couldn't see. So it has been a lot. So there's videos um, in my playlist um, and some right below that you can check out to see what you know that's about. So I don't have to get into all that um, because this video I really want to focus on um, just the insecurities and the struggles I think um, we all go through. But I can only talk about my experience and my experience the last week and a half has just been really insecure about um, you know, for one thing, I'm nesting, and this is not our forever home. If it was, that wall would be white. <laughs> um, or I wouldn't buy a house with um, wood wall. Um, so I want to nest. I have all these Pinterest ideas, and I love to decorate. Um, if, you had, if I had done YouTube five years ago, we had a house that I was living in then. I would have been doing more lifestyle and home improvement stuff with you guys. But this is not what we're doing in this house. <clears throat> This is a house we live in because it's the best school district. It's close to my husband's work and it's just what we're doing to build our future and to save up and just to do what we want. It's a beautiful home. It's in a beautiful, it's midtown Atlanta. It's a great place, but I just can't do whatever I want with it. Now my family does own it, but it's just not something we want to pour a bunch of money into, right? So I've been a little low because I, I'm nesting and I want to do some stuff and I just really can't, right? It's frustrating. So I had to actually stop looking at Pinterest because it was depressing me. <laughs> now, please forgive me if I use the word depressing and I don't mean to use it in a blatant way because I struggle with bipolar one. Um, so I'm more manic, but I have depressive um, moods more so than phases. Um, so I didn't, I didn't use that flippantly, please forgive me. Um, but the thing with bipolar is that circumstances can definitely outrage us. Um, it causes us to be irrational more so than a person who doesn't struggle with this. So I really got down. I, I really did. I was like, screw it, like whatever, just throwing laundry in drawers, just not, why fold it, why care? It's not, you know, but you gotta work with what you got, right? So I've been trying to focus on that and just being grateful. Um, I have had every reason to be in a grateful mood because my daughter is 
alive, healthy, and well. And it could have been a much worse prognosis. We thought we were gonna have to go through chemo. And it turns out after this last surgery, she is done and she will uh, get hopefully up to 60% of her vision back. She's gotten at least maybe 20% back, so she's doing really well. Um, one eye, she's completely blind, but she can now see a little bit out of. The other eye, um, things are blurry, so just could you imagine, right? So, you know, I get mad at myself when I'm upset about stupid little stuff, but look on Instagram too long or Pinterest and you're like, I want that, I want this, you know? Um, so I've been struggling with that. Um, super, super duper morning sickness. So, um, an anxiety because obviously I can't take my anxiety medication right now. So I really had to find other ways to help with that. Namaste, I've been trying to do some um, uh, yoga. I was a huge yogi about two years ago, and I had been going lazy for like two years. And um, I was a yogi when I was using, and then when I got sober, I just like walked some. And I guess I got so busy with life, and you know, being back involved with life, and there's a lot to do as a mom and a wife, and I'm an actress and auditions, and just a lot, just a lot of stuff. And, um, and this YouTube channel keeps me kind of busy. So anyway, my point is, um, I haven't come here to say hi because I have been struggling with myself and how I feel about who I am and what's next and where I'm at. Um, I've been really overwhelmed with this film I'm doing and just I've not been able to concentrate on the script. Um, I've just not been able to concentrate on much lately. I've really been trying to focus on just Lily um, and just processing um, just processing what she's going through and the, the fears that she must be going through and the trauma and just praying so much that it doesn't, one, make her grow up too fast and two, um, that it doesn't just completely traumatize her for her future. She now sleeps with the light on. She has to fall asleep with sound. Um, she doesn't like it too quiet anymore when she's just like pitch dark and quiet. Um, she wakes up with bad dreams at the hospital, and, and children's hospital is great, so it's just it's been really sad and hard to, to deal with. And the fact that we have to go back next Tuesday for yet another surgery and be in the hospital for four to five days following, um, she's very scared. Um, but she's amazing. She walked into dance class yesterday and just did her thing, and, and just really has just taught me so many lessons. Um, and I'm, I'm super grateful for that because I do believe that everything happens for a reason. I do. Um, I mean, if you make bad choices, like there's, you know, and there's no reasoning behind it. I've made a lot of no reasoning choices. I don't believe that's the case. Although if you learn from it, um, but I think when things like this happen, you can either just take it and crawl into a hole or you can take it and grow and become more whole. So that's what we've really been trying to do in this family. Um, I haven't really come to say much because I just felt like I didn't have much to say. Um, I, I did a little video just to say hello. Just I was really nauseous last week, like throwing up, really sick. It was terrible. <clears throat> and so I came to you guys and I got a lot of thumbs down from just this silly little video of telling you guys, hey, this is what pregnancy is like. I'm in my bed and I'm like really sick. <laughs> Um, because this is Let's Talk Raw. So, again, I hope you guys subscribe and stick around. Um, you know, it, it's just it's just been hard, and I think, with depression. Um, depression in this day and age, I don't, you know, it's a little less taboo. It's, it's more taboo than I think I realize. I think people are so afraid of it and think it looks a certain way. I'm not going to um, make any judgments of how people think it might look. I can tell you I used to think it looked like homelessness, um, drug addiction, you know, which I had addiction, so, you know, for me it didn't look like that, but it, it looks like more than that. Um, there are so many men and women that are very successful, um, very loving, kind people. Um, in fact, most of the time we all are. Um, I know we seem irrational at times, I can seem rational at times, and um, and get overwhelmed easily and things of that nature, but in the long run, you know, I'm just trying to get by like the next person and um, I've had to learn the hard way. I really have. Um, I have, you know, about 15 really good friends and I'm really blessed with that because that's, that's a lot more than many could say, 
but um, I sort of keep them close and I, and I just sort of, you know, um, I'm careful with who I let in. So me doing this channel is a huge challenge for me. I know people like, you're an actress, you're this. But no, this is a challenge to be open about my struggles um, on, a, on a regular basis. And so sometimes I'll do little videos on things I see on the news. Um, and like I said, I'm going to do a video after uh, watching part two. I believe it comes on tonight of Leaving Neverland. I really want to talk about that with you guys and, and get some feedback on that. Because um, another thing about this channel is I really want... You guys to, like to discuss things with me not just judge me with comments like what's that gonna do like you're not gonna change me or tell me who I'm gonna be or what I'm gonna say that's that's ridiculous <laughs> um, just go somewhere else it's fine but I love the interaction and thank you for all the comments about my daughter being strong yes she is she's amazing um, but when it comes to things of like you know just things of the world in my opinion um, it's just my opinion I it's not Sam Stone, I am nobody to cause a ruckus. Like, I'm not like, you know, um, you know, making a big movement here. But something I do want to share is when I get emails from you guys, again, please forgive me. I had not checked my email in over two weeks and I checked it and I was shocked to find over 50 emails. Um, many were saying, you know, prayers to my daughter, but many more were actually, hey, I struggle with depression, that you haven't done a video on that lately, like how are you, how is it worse, if you, if you struggle worse with it, everything going on with your daughter, um, the answer is, um, I'm pretty, I wouldn't say worse, I, um, I'd say if anything, because I'm going to have the right doctors and the right medication, I'm actually on Wellbutrin, um, that um, I've handled this situation better than anything that I've handled in my entire life. Um, so in that way, no, it's not worse. Um, it's actually been empowering because I've been able to handle it with my struggle with depression, bipolar, I manic one, so I manic bipolar one. So I being able to handle it without getting too agitated and too irrational and too crazy has been amazing. Now, finding balance, so balancing work. My boss is really great and gave me a couple weeks off. And then balancing, checking these emails. And, you know, I made a, a you know, I said to you guys that I would respond and I hadn't. And I'm really sorry for that. Um, that was not my intention. I have every intention of always responding to you guys and, and being available. Um, but I just, I haven't even checked it because it just overwhelmed me. So when I did, I made it through about 15, so I have more to read. I will get back to you, I promise. Thank you so much. Um, giveaway Wednesday is going to be postponed for a couple more weeks. Um, but I did send those giveaways that I had two weeks, two or three weeks ago out. I guess it was maybe four weeks ago by now. So just bear with me on that. Um, what else? Um... I just, I'm really grateful um, for those of you that stick around and really just bury your soul with me as I'm trying to do with you and um, allow me into your lives and um, just thank you for that. Um, I really was feeling really insecure about continuing to do this channel um, and then I opened up the email and saw that I was helping people and, um, you know, it's amazing to me that mental illness still has such a taboo that people are like, yeah, I say, I, well, I don't tell this person my husband doesn't know, my boyfriend doesn't know, my mom doesn't know. I'm just like, wow, you know, you, you've been holding this in for that long and um, you don't feel like you can talk to people about it. I, that breaks my heart, but I understand I was in denial about uh, my mental illness for many, many years and I covered it up. I thought I was covering it up with drugs, but I guess in a way I was because I know it would be blamed on the drugs. That's not me. That's the dope. Um, but once, you know, each time I would try and get sober, um, I would realize something wasn't quite right. So unfortunately for many years, I was continued to use, um, to mask it, at least within myself. Um, I'm manic, so I racing thoughts, wasn't sleeping well. So I chose downers to like calm me down and I thought that was you know the way I was just gonna live my life I really thought I was a lifer I just thought that's what I was 
And um, I just thought this was going to be, I don't know, I just, I, it's really weird to think about now because I have a whole different view on what that even means and what it means to be sober. Um, to me, what it means to be sober is to be present um, in, in the now um, and just make it through the day. For me, um, it's doing the next right thing. Um, for me, it's not a set of rules. Do I, do I go to AA meetings? Yes, sometimes I do. Do I have a sponsor? Yeah, I have somebody I'm very close to that I can call about anything, but that I don't. You know, it, it's, sobriety for me is, you know, everybody has their way of doing such. I'm more involved with my church, family, and that's sort of where I sort of stand with that. But I love the big book. I think it's a great instructional book for life and just how to be good and kind and gentle with others and with yourself. And I think it's really important to be gentle with yourself. So, and saying that, um, it was hard for me to come to a video because I felt that I wasn't being gentle to myself by allowing myself to be disliked or to get comments that are just not kind. Um, and I was really struggling with that and just like, forget it, I'm not going to do this anymore. And then I checked that email and saw these emails and people asked me if I was okay, why well, hadn't I posted lately, how was my depression during this time, complete strangers from as far away as England. Like, so I can't let you guys down and I can't let myself down because this channel is about accountability and just seeing the change in myself as I've continued to stay sober and continue to do the next right thing. Um, I, I have views, I have opinions that I share with you guys, but that's just what they are. They're just my views and my opinions. I'm not like the best at anything I do, but I do do the best I can these days. I didn't always. Um, so I just wanted to come on here and say, yes, I'm fine. I will get back to your emails. Thank you so much. Um, bipolar is an everyday thing. Recovery is an everyday thing, but it does get easier. Uh, well, it gets better. I wouldn't say easier. It gets better. How about that? Um, um, because there's just more to be sober for. There's more to be coherent for. There's more to be sane for. Um, and there's, the, the more you gain more and more, the longer you're well. And um, so therefore there's more to lose. You know, when I was a chronic relapser, I would relapse within months, right? Well, I hadn't gained anything back yet, you know? Um, and so it was like, whatever. You know, I might've gotten my car back or, uh, but I haven't really gained that trust back. So when you're like me, you know, the two year mark and over, it's like, you know, it's not been perfect. And, I, and I've made mistakes outside of just addiction. I've made tons of mistakes. But when you get to that place, I think around a year, if you can make it past a year especially. Um, and it's your frame of mind too. Like, you know, this time, when I got to six months, I knew this was like a totally different situation because my sponsor would be like, you're at six months today. And I'm like, what? Like, I didn't even think about it. I wasn't counting the days, right? So that was huge. Um, but, so there is no time frame. So don't forget I said that because everybody's journey is different. But understand what I mean is that for me, once I really started gaining things back and not really material things, I meant gaining people, trust, opportunities, and work church um my husband wanted to remarry me <laughs> the lord bless me with the baby a lot of weeks pregnant um, um also even the trials with my daughter having a brain tumor well me you know having her back fully daily in my life and um i felt like the lord trusted me with this huge responsibility to take care of her is huge in my sobriety and I felt like the Lord was really telling me you got this like you're, you're okay now when I say that one thing I've learned in sobriety is to never say I got this certainly not like that but what I mean is he was saying look you can handle this you can handle this you know and I have been and that's huge um and this is going way too long, so let me end this. Um, thanks for joining me. Um, I want to do a video of um, leaving Neverland and 
be even a couple weeks when I get more into my prenatal yoga. I'll maybe do some yoga with you guys. I don't know. Um, I will take you guys to the set this Sunday. Um, I'm doing a film called Synthetic. So, um, really excited. We've got some Netflix people involved. It's going to be really cool. I can't tell you when it's going to be done because I don't know. I'm not in the production of it. I'm just the actress. Um, but yeah, I'm scared and I'm nervous, but I'm going to plow through it. So I'm actually going to work on that script now. Um, thanks for joining. I hope you subscribe and just hang out with me. This channel is about a journey called life. And um, I'd love for you guys to share with me what you're going through um, because really I want this to be more interaction and just growth for everyone involved. So thanks for joining me. My name is Brooklyn. I hope you subscribe to Let's Talk Lots. It's Brooklyn family. <laughs> Um, they're around. <laughs> so anyway, thanks again. I will talk to you guys very, very soon. And I will post even when I'm insecure. <laughs>